my name is Amy Smith and I'm excited to share with you all of the Classical Conversation Cycle 2 books that pair up with Osborne Books and More, which are books from Osborne Publishing and Kane Miller. This is going to be a really big rundown and I'll start with history and then move into geography. Um, since Cycle 2 starts in medieval history, we have Medieval World, which is a wonderful book. It's internet linked, uh, all about the early kings, the crusades, the holy land, and there's a lot of bite-sized chunks of information and maps included in here that are just really wonderful. We re-released the Medieval Messenger, which is a really hilarious um, newspaper um, parody of medieval times. Your child will love going through this. Food in the fast lane, Q&A, hungry for advice? Here's food for thought. Um, just a lot of funny, funny um, articles and things that your child can can laugh at, and you can laugh at as well. Medieval Messenger, a parody of what a medieval newspaper would look like. We have wonderful encyclopedias that are really, really thick. They're internet linked, and this is world history. Let me show you the table of contents so you can be familiar with what is in this book. It starts with um, prehistoric world, ancient world, medieval world, in the last 500 years. So there's four sections. The prehistoric world does cover evolution and um, ancient world and then medieval world would be what you would touch on and then it goes into the modern world and it does touch on the Cold War and the First World Wars in the 1900s. So this is a wonderful choice. So you have um, going into the medieval world, you have those maps and the bite-sized chunks of information that I was just telling you about. And there's a bit of that. So this is going to be great for when you want to dig deeper into some of the history sentences and conversations as you're going through history. Osborne also has a short history of the world and you can have a fast-paced history through time and these are some really nice pencil drawn pictures of the Muslim world and let's look at the table of contents again you're gonna have the ancient world modern medieval world early modern modern and then there's a nice index with the internet links so this is a really nice just short brief fast-paced trip through human history a short history of the world history of the world in 100 pictures can see what that one looks like. Very neat. We have Osborne Beginners. We have Castles, which is really neat. And that came, um, that's now combined in our Osborne Beginners history. If you've seen our Beginners, now there's a compilation here. But the Castles would show you how castles are built. And you'll find a lot of neat answers with an index in the back. I love these because they're really informative but they're really great for early reading those early readers great for a book report or something like that put that back there time traveler this is one of my favorites this is an oldie but goodie and it goes through this kid is going back in time to see all different many different um t time periods knights and castles vikings rome and then pharaohs and pyramids so you'd be looking at the time of the medieval knights and castles. There are so many really neat illustrations in here that your child will look through the crusades and go through all of that. So, Time Traveler is highly recommended along with Timelines of World History. So these are two of my favorites that I would recommend um, really highly. Timelines of World History really goes through, now here I'll start at the Middle Ages, um, you can see through history through Southern and Western Europe, Northern and Eastern Europe, Africa and the Middle East, Asia and the Americas. And what's going on in each of those times through those time periods. Um, going up, you can see it changes with lots of really nice illustrations and, and facts that your child is going to really love. We also have a great World Wars compilation and this book takes you through both conflicts of World War One, World War Two, with real um, photographs. There's a lot of detail in, in here. This would be for 
you maybe your older reader because there are some graphic images, of course, of the realities of war. Um, paintings, posters, maps, it's all in here. This is actually just a really nice coffee table book. Really, really nice to have. We just came out with some um, biographies and one of them is of Anne Frank, which is really wonderful to hear about uh, more about her life. Of course, she wrote The Diary of Anne Frank and there's some, makes the story a little bit more accessible for the younger reader. Learn more about her in that one. So we also have some exploration and discovery see inside books which have lift the flaps for learning about different discovery times. So I don't have specific, well let's look at the specifics of what you're gonna find. Ancient explorers going the distance, crossing the ocean, natural discoveries, into the interior, race for the poles, final frontiers, roof of the world. So um, the explorers you're gonna, you're gonna have Some, some um, a lot of neat explorations and discoveries in this one that are just a really nice timeline that are all added into that timeline. See inside great cities. Let's look at what cities are in there. Sydney, London, New York, Venice, Shanghai, Istanbul, and Paris. Paris. So you're going to be able to lift the flaps. So here's Shanghai and see what you want to discover about that city. The bite-sized chunks of information are really great and they're really fun to read. We have so many of these books, but I grabbed this one because um, there, there's Paris in here, New York, of course, so that's a, really another neat one to have. Going, um, again, across the world, stories from around the world. There are some stories from England in here, as well as, let's look, South America, Germany, uh, Mexico, Russia, so it does go into a lot of different countries. If you're thinking, you know, I want to have some folk stories, um, liven your time up together. There are about 20 stories in here with some really sweet illustrations. Um, Children's World Cookbook, this is another way to um, have some hands-on learning. And there are recipes from many different countries, scones for England, Irish stew for Ireland. Ooh, France, that looks amazingly delicious. Germany, um, learn about cheeses. So many delicious things that your child can, can make with you or without you in the kitchen. This book has a spiral binding, which is very easy to turn. I really love all of our books that have a spiral binding. So moving through, the, um, the rest of these books are some fun hands-on sticker books, costumes around the world. If you haven't seen these, these are really fun. My daughter has used this one herself. Let me just show you. Okay, there's there's the, um, the characters without the dress. And then here in, um, in India, they are dressed. So it's really fun to dress those little dolls. But um, the other ones that I, I found are the vintage fashion coloring. Clothes and fashion to color, lots of things, lots of um, outfits and clothes to color in those two books. And then moving into the World War time period, you have 1900 to 1920s fashion, wartime fashion, as well as 1950s fashion. So the wartime fashion is really neat. You can dress these ladies so they aren't completely dressed here because you're going to be dressing them and you can see them in their slips but um, these are some of the clothes you're going to be putting on the soldiers and things so it really just brings brings that time period to life I'd, I'd say so now I'm going to be moving on to our let's see to our geography for geography it's wonderful to learn about the flags of the world and this is a coloring book so you can color the flags of the world it, um, it takes the guesswork out of it so you can see the flags and then color them that's a really fun hands-on activity we have the geography encyclopedia which also has internet links and what the internet links means is that on these pages you can use the QR code or um, find it, it has a quick links website and you're going to it's going to expand the learning with photographs diagrams maps to further expand your learning 
um, whatever is in here. So you're going to look at each continent, the peoples, the cultures, um, topographical maps, many things in this geographic um, encyclopedia. We also have things for younger ages, which is perfect. Look insides and see insides are very popular. Here is our world, and you're going to look at the different um, the rivers and the forests, so the biomes of the different worlds. So that is really nice for those um, science sentences as well. Our world, our first reference of our world, again, it goes through some of the biomes, but in a more elementary style. Seas and oceans. So have you seen our Shine a Light books? This is Secrets of Our Earth, and you're going to learn about a bubbling volcano and you're going to learn about lightning storms so the idea is that you put a flashlight behind this book and you're going to see something so i don't have a flashlight here but here you're going to see the water falling down here you're going to see animals and plants need um the ocean to survive and you're going to see that dolphin there and it's just a really fun hands-on activity for children. They love these books. We have Wonders of Our World, too. That was Secrets of Our Earth. And Wonders of Our World is going to take you through many man-made and natural marvels. Lost Ancient Cities, The Great Barrier Reef. Very fun for children. We have the Big Picture Book of Planet Earth. And you're going to, again, look at the biomes of the world. You're going to look at the oceans, the mountain peaks. You're going to look at rivers and jungles. And you're also going to learn about earthquakes and the continents. So many amazing things. This is the big picture book of planet Earth. Let's go to some atlases. We have three atlases. I'm going to show you each of them. This is my personal favorite, the Lift the Flap Picture Atlas. It goes through each continent. So here's Asia. And your child will open up the flap. The Nadim Festival of Archery Wrestling and Horse Racing happens every summer in Mongolia. That's something that I did not know. And it's just neat to open these flaps. You can see the Great Wall of China there. And your child can really start to explore these continents and little parts of them so this is my personal favorite so if but if you're looking for one that doesn't have flaps that maybe will stand the test of time there's 15 beautifully illustrated maps in here also of the continents and sometimes east and west or north and south of the continents and here's the arctic as well and then we have the children's picture atlas and this is also beautifully illustrated with wonderful, fascinating details throughout the book of animals and peoples and cultures that live around the world. So that is geography. Let's move on to some more science. Here's another book about the planet Earth, another beginner's book. These are so great for little children. They're very affordable. They're only $4.99 and we love these little books. The coast is where the land meets the sea. You're going to see all the biomes in that with many bite-sized chunks of information. So moving on to our science books, we have many experiment books, which I, I wanted to show you two of them. 50 thing, Science Things to Make and Do is a simple step-by-step -step book which uses household items for fun hands-on on scientific investigations and experiments. You can make a wind vane with a simple pencil and paper cup um, or plastic cup. So many really fun little science activities in that one. We also have 365 science activities. Both of these are spiral bound, which I really love. They're very durable. They can lay flat on your kitchen counter or table, solids, liquids, and goo staining and bleaching so you're going to have lots of fun experiments i'm going to show you the co the table of contents for this one so you can take a look okay so there are well 365 science activities but you can see there why is bread full of holes what is fruit juice what is the chemi chemical composition of fruit juice catching wildlife I really love these and my kids do too because they look through them and I see, okay, do we have the household supplies? Then yes, you can do it. Um, going into some biology, 
How Flowers Grow, another beginner's book. And we also have Young Beginners, which only have illustrations. They don't have photographs, and there's a simpler, easier text. This is a really fun reading series for younger, for the youngest of children. There's less text for them in these Young Beginners. The Usborne Outdoor Book. You can discover all the things that are outside at the park or in the woods, hunting at night, learning about the stargazing, which we're gonna see some more um, astronomy books in just a minute. So Woodland Book, you can see all of the trees and the magical exploration of um, the seasons, springtime, all the different coniferous and deciduous trees nice beautiful glossary there these two books are hardcover and they're really really beautiful we have many lift the flap books where i'm going to be showing you some look insides and some lift the flap first questions and answers so the lift the flap first questions and answers they go through the who what where why when of how do flowers grow and you're going to be lifting these flaps and it's going, do squirrels plant seeds? Yes, by accident, you're gonna learn that process. And then let me look at the other, lift the flap, first questions and answers, what makes it rain? When do rainbows appear? So a lot of information in these that's really fun. Look inside nature, open the flaps to uncover the magical world of nature, making a den, learning about the woods and the rivers and the ponds. And look, the nocturnal animals. This is so beautiful. Look how beautifully illustrated that is. I just love it. And they have lar some larger flaps as well. Really gorgeous. We have another spiral bound book, Gardening, which is really lovely. Gardening for beginners. You're gonna learn about bees and flowers that are um, easy to grow for sunflowers, strawberries flowering bulbs, many different flowers to grow for children. And speaking of growing a garden, here's another uh, Shine a Light book that's just wonderful. The Pitter Patter of Rain. So when they look or when they shine their light behind this page, they're going to see little snails as they shine the light. Let's see, what is behind here? What's inside? It is lettuce is being protected. That is neat. So they're gonna see all those as they as they explore that book. 100 Things to Know About is a really fun series, and this one is all about science. And the astronomy is involved, biology, many, many different topics. So this covers um, just some really fascinating facts that kids can learn. Illustrated Elementary Science Dictionary. You're gonna learn key terms and concepts useful examples and illustrations step by step for many different topics. And let's look at the table of contents for this one. Um, so living things, materials, forces, energy, earth and space, and science at work. So now let's look at some of the books about space. We'll start off with these wonderful spotters cards. You can discover the treasures of the night sky, learn about the constellations. This is a um, hundred things. So there's 50 cards and there's something on the front and the back. There's the moon. You're gonna learn all about the moon and um, crescent moons, half moons, all the different phases of the moon and different constellations are on there. So this is a hundred things to spot in the night sky. So I showed you just a minute ago, first questions and answers. Now this is a very first questions and answers. So this is slightly smaller and for the younger child. So you're gonna read this to your three, four, five year old, which is perfect for those young children. And let's add, let's add which star is the nearest? The sun, of course. So really fun, really fun book for children to explore. Peek Insides, um, this is the youngest in the Peek Inside, Look Inside, See Inside series, and this is Peek Inside Space. You're gonna look at the moon, and of course the ISS, working with a robot. Oh, this little guy is in the ISS, and he's gonna put on his uniform here, his spacesuit. Very fun. More beginner's books, Living in Space, which was just 
made into a new cover, so it was just adapted. I love that Osborne is constantly amending their books, making sure they're completely up to date with the most, with the latest and greatest information. With easy to read text. So it's astronomy and living in space. We have a hundred things to know about space, just like the one about science really fun facts in these with some really sweet illustrations. Now I just showed you a peek inside. Here is a look inside space and this is my personal favorite look inside book. I think it's so fun how it shows both the sun and what's inside the sun and then it has a really large flap, lift the flap here of the planets in our own solar system which I think is really neat. So I really love this one for, the, for younger kids. We also have some lift the flap first questions and answers for what's it like in space and why does the sun shine? What's it like in space? What do astronauts do all day? So let's see, they test things. And then why does the sun shine? So we're then gonna be looking at our star. Do people need the sun? Yes, of course they do. Now let's look at the story of astronomy and space. This um, is more of a longer text in here, exploring the mysteries of space and astronomy, studying the skies, telescopes are going to be involved. So let's look at the table of contents. Watching the skies, great balls of fire, little ball of rock, wanderers in space, astronomy through the ages, a race into space, life in space, telescopes, a lot of really wonderful, beautiful illustrations. This is a nice hardcover book. I love our hardcover books. Another shine a light uh, of the space station. So let's see what astronauts do while they're sleeping. Well, there's another one sleeping that you didn't spot at first. They're busy. What is this guy doing? He is running on a treadmill because they have to have exercise up in space. This is another one for our youngest learners. This book is a board book, which is just perfect. It has really sweet, charming photos, not photos, illustrations, all about galaxies and stars and the ISS, really sweet. Now we have a larger lift the flap questions and answers. So this is the largest, and I also have a C inside here, so I'll show you that. So these are the same size but there's those two Lift the Flap series, the questions and answer series, and then the peek inside, look inside, see inside series. And you're going to be asking questions, who? Who plans the space missions? Space agencies around the world do. So you're gonna learn questions and answers of that, see inside space stations and spacecraft. My son in particular, really enjoyed this book because you're learning all about the different moon landings, and uh, space missions, Mars expeditions, things that I never knew about, but he knows about. We also have our big book of. The big book of stars and planets is really nice because there's these fold out, these fold outs here. They cover four pages and you're gonna learn the differences between the galaxies, irregular and cartwheel galaxies. You're going to, at the beginning, see your solar, solar system. So there's another really nice place to learn more about our planets. That's Big Book of Stars and Planets. And then we have Big Book of Rockets and Spacecraft. With these giant fold-outs here, too. So this one is, I'd say, a little bit younger of an audience than our Sea Inside Spacecraft that I just showed you. And lastly, a really nice picture book about dogs in space, Belka and Stralka, who were Moscow dogs. They were stray dogs, and they were brought into space. Um, this is the true story of what happened to them. So those are our space and astronomy books. Cycle 2 really dives into the Renaissance and Shakespeare. We have a lot of Shakespeare books that I wanted to share. Beginning with a new graphic novel, my son adores these graphic novels. It has really helped him love to read. This is Hamlet, which has mature content, of course. 
as Hamlet avenges his father's murder, but really um, stays true to um, some of the language and shows your, your child the story before they're ready to read the actual thing. We also have a nice, beautiful collection of short, uh, short stories, Macbeth, Twelfth Night, Hamlet, Midsummer's Night's Dream, Romeo and Juliet in, in hardcovers in that, that collection. The illustrated stories from Shakespeare. This is our soft hardcover with the ribbon marker that we all just love. I love these. So on each page you can see half text and half picture. Um, and let me read to you what, which stories you're going to see. You're going to see Twelfth Night, Romeo and Juliet, The Tempest, Midsummer Night's Dream, Macbeth, Hamlet, and then a short synopsis of uh, William Shakespeare himself, his life. We also have the complete Shakespeare stories from all of the plays. You're going to have a collection of beautiful illustrations along with quotations and introduction to Shakespeare. But again, so each one has the synopsis for the characters. And then you're, this is longer reading because some, some pages don't even have illustrations. We have World of Shakespeare reference books. You can learn about the life and times of the Renaissance, life and times of William Shakespeare. Beautifully illustrated where he lived, dangers he faced, Queen Elizabeth's time. See inside the world of Shakespeare is the same thing, but it has a flap. So we go back in time to see some of the plays in action with these really sweet illustrations, plays being put on tragic tale so it is going to go through his his plays I really love this one I love all of our Shakespeare books we have where's will which is like where's Waldo and you're spotting him in his beloved plays so each time it introduces a new pay play okay here's Macbeth again you're going to be introduced to the characters in the story and then you're going to go into scenes from the story and find Will. Where is Will? I love this. It's really sweet. Then we have a quotes from Shakespeare. These are really beautiful illustrated quotes that you can cut, cut out easily. Or they're um, perforated so you can just um, tear them out. And you can send them as gifts, fun for kids to, to color and draw. I also took out the Dickens because this is, um, Cycle 2 is based on a lot of British history. And this Dickens is just a really nice compilation of his stories. Here's Bleak, Bleak House. Our mutual friend, I'm not familiar with that, or Hard Times. So if you're not familiar, even as an adult, um, reading some of these I'm looking forward to doing so because I, I don't know all of his novels. Now let's look into some of the STEM and math books that Osborne Books and More offers that will really help supplement your classical conversations learning or any of your homeschooling learning. We have activity books, adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. We have some other fun pads that are have math puzzles as well, adding and subtracting. Lots of tips and tricks um, in a fun, colorful book that's consumable. We also have mini Lift the Flaps. These are for your youngest learners. So again, three, four, five, you're going to find first math. And you can really read through here at the flower shop, count the flowers in the pots, and then you're gonna, it's going to reveal seven. So it's a fun, fun way of learning. And then down below, five plus five is ten. So you can read this together and then your child can read it on their own. Sizes and measuring, this is wonderful because you're gonna be learning about comparisons, measuring, who has more, um, longer and shorter. So a lot of great concepts that a lot of kindergartners should know. We also have our math slide and see. So these are gonna be for your babies, but I had to include it because um, well, really, for your three, four, five, any kids love this tactile element of sliding, and these books are indestructible. Two minus one is one. Sweet little illustrations. We also have one for adding, adding at the circus. Children just love sliding these books up and down. So we also have a lot of STEM books. So Lift the Flap Engineering is a really wonderful um, newer book that we have 
talking about all the topics of engineering. I myself don't know anything about robots, but it's really interesting to learn about them. Or machines, different machines are great. Building big, big buildings around the world. Uh, another book that's that's also going to talk about everyday inventions and machines is How Things Work. And this one also has the flaps. This is a music page about how does music work and vibrations, water works, how does a toilet work? Every kid wants to know that, right? We have many hands-on books, Scientist Academy. We have Architect Academy, many Academy books. So there's some consumables in here, some science pairs that my kids already worked on. They also created a sundial and um, some fun things. So there's crime scene science, fossil science, hands-on that your child can do, investigating an ellipse. So just a lot of testing, making, discovering that your child can do. We also have these new scribble books, and I'm gonna show you each of them. We have technology, and these are Osborne STEM books. Technology, you're discovering, designing, solving puzzles while your child is scribbling and drawing in this consumable hands-on book. Sci-fi tech. Let's look at the inventions one that just came out and they have these fun ribbons here that hold it shut. Early inventions, discover, imagine, design your own inventions, multi-purpose inventions, making and doing. So here's our STEM science book. Thinking like a scientist, seeing light and then what is it asking you to do? The reason you see is because the back of your eyes detect light. Can you test it? So seeing numbers within those images, animal journeys, and of course our math one, where you're encouraged to think like a mathematician. Inventing math magic tricks. And there is a um, answer key at the back of these books reptiles, learning, um, working with those tanograms. We also have, this is not a math book and this is not another math book, where art and math go hand in hand. So here you are, infinite circles. You can learn about the worlds of patterns and symmetries, shapes, um, tessellations, even mandalas, coloring. I've, um, many, many elementary boys that I know that really enjoy this, these books because it's using math to create art. And I've, I found, um, well, my daughter as well just loves these books. This is not a science book. Brings those same elements but into the world of science. Leaves and templates of the moon, optical illusions, bones in your body. Some really fun activities so many fun activities so um, illustrated dictionary of math is a handy dictionary with key terms and concepts with illustrations and diagrams you're going to want to look at the table of contents of this so there's small small writing but it touches on numbers shapes geometry algebra and data really nice to have um, definitions of things and internet links to recommended websites in that as well. We also have the first illustrated math dictionary which is really helpful. You can see some number lines there, other key terms. Um, the, the internet links, they link to math puzzles and games and practice at any level. So those are nice because all those internet links are regularly changed and you know that they're gonna be safe. But you, of course, whenever your child is online, you wanna check what they're doing, be right there. Lift the Flap Measuring Things. This is a more recent book. Now our Lift the Flap books, this one has over 150 flaps. That's really hard to believe. There's so many flaps. So let's see, how much faster w w did I ride than you? I rode 100 miles an hour in two hours. I rode 150 miles. And so you're discovering that together and you're gonna learn the answer. Thermometers, how they measure, the temperature, lengths to measure, so many things to measure in that book. We have lift the flap, multiplying and dividing. 
and it goes through some fun cute animals and other cute um, things so five times nine is 45 in the the Egyptians cavern there cavern is probably not the right word number lines let's see what else using fractions with the fun jungle animals we have lift the thought the flap times tables so this one is going to be facts along the sides and then even you even have pirates helping you find tips and tricks to practice your times tables and test your times tables knowledge if a pea pod holds 11 peas how many peas will you get from 12 pea pods 132 we just came out with math shapes lift the flap math shapes learning about geometry and symmetry patterns and angles from here some more little little monsters and guys to help you learn and lastly we have lift the flap fractions and decimals page at the front content sorting fraction walls testing your knowledge so many fun ones in these math books let's last look at the art and music books from Osborne books and more that correspond with classical conversations questions and answers about art this is going to again address the what when who where yes or no how and why about art when were these sculptures made You're going to learn about some famous ones, which is just so wonderful for kids to be familiar with the classics of various time periods. So not only the, the Renaissance, Baroque periods, but you're going to be going through, through all the way um, back to ancient times. Here is Usborne Lift the Flap art, packed with amazing paintings, prints, and sculptures. You're going to find out different details about those the modern period here you're going to see a monet and find out about the impressionist movement so many fun things to look at in that we have some activity books that have just come out here's the art activity book hands-on through puzzles doodling coloring things to spot a lot of things to do in that one Complete book of art ideas. So this book is packed with art ideas to create. So if you're looking for art projects that show, really illustrate what you're supposed to do for the project, this is the book because it really goes through step by step what your child is going to, to make. There's not just one little picture. It really shows you how to do it. So you could hand your older child, eight, nine, 10, this book and they, um, could essentially have the materials and then do it because it's step by step on these pages art ideas this is the complete book of art ideas it's a combined volume it combined art ideas art skills and art projects all into one spiral bound book we also have the children's book of art so this book does not have any flaps it's a regular paper book and you're going to be looking at some of the best known best loved pictures and reading about them And then Art Treasury is similar to art, idea, art, art Ideas. However, what it does is it shows you a famous painting and then it shows you a project that's based off of the work of that artist and how you can use the artist's method or ideas to create your own. Your own art project. Dancers in blue, so you're gonna do chalk pastels. So that's nice. 365 things to draw and paint so more more paint ideas and drawing activities that you can really ignite the creativity in your artists that you have now lastly we have two books on music this is our famous composers reference book you can discover classical music throughout the ages as it talks about the people who wrote and performed the music through all of the time periods here. It does touch on Mozart and Beethoven, Haydn, Bach, Handel, 
all of the greats in that those bite-sized chunks of information with beautiful illustrations. And then the first book of the orchestra is just really lovely. Goes through the orchestra. Has some really nice sound in there. You can learn all the different um, musicians and the different groups. The strings, the brass, the percussion, the winds, and then they all finally come together with the conductor. So that's a fun hands-on book. If you made it through, congratulations. I really hope you found some books that you didn't know about and that you may have found something that could supplement your homeschooling and your classical conversations learning. So happy learning. Thanks.